joined by the lovely Trina Braxton and her amazing husband, Gabe. Now, coming out here, donating your time, pretty good stuff that you guys are coming out and do that. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, we're having a super blast because we have never golfed before outside of like putt putt. I heard you get frustrated over here. I'm telling you what, because, you know, it's like that ball. You don't want the ball to get the best of you, but sometimes it, it just does. It yeah. just does. The ball, the ball does. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, I think it's great. It's a great uh, charity event for Absolutely. the Wounded Warrior Project. That's, that's wonderful. But he thinks he's Dave Woods, though. <laughs> it's like, it's his first time as well, but he's trying oh, to I act like, like he knows over. what to do. I'm competitive. Stay with it. <laughs> that's all. Oh, my gosh. Now, the Braxton Family Value mm -hmm. Show, people get to see a lot of you guys. Yes. Can you give us a little sneak peek of what's coming up? Well, the new season 3B, it airs again starting November 14th. And very, soon. very, very, very soon. And the, of course, the drama never stops. I mean, there are, you know, I have four sisters and a mom. So when there are six women together, you know, there's the, the drama just never stops ever in life. So you guys are very busy, like I said, to come out here, donate your time. How important is it for celebrities to give their time for a charitable cause? Well, you know, I feel like God blesses us to be a blessing. And you're not supposed to hoard what you have and what God has given you. So it's very, very important to always give back to the community in any capacity. So, and that's something that our parents always instilled in us as the Braxtons. And I think that's something we'll always continue to do for the rest of our lives. How do you feel about that? Do you agree with your wife? A hundred percent. It is. Uh, I think this is a wonderful, like I said, wonderful event. Um, I was in the military, so I have a lot of friends. Well, that, you're in the military. Yeah, well, thank you, you for your course. thank you for yeah. your service. Yeah, so I think it's a wonderful event. I still have a lot of friends that are still in the military. Mm -hmm. You know how important it is yeah. when yeah. you know when the soldiers come back from the war. That it's exactly. not always it's right. perfect. Right. Well, thank you so much for your time. I know you're having a good time. Here. I'm seeing you having yeah. a good time, and you're in Vegas, so you know well, we're we better. Used to live here, but yeah. whatever ha whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> so we can't tell you anything that happens. Perfect. No, you no except for you can't tell. <laughs> Uh, let's not say something that probably wasn't inappropriate. Yes. No, don't say it. We'll save that. We'll save that for the show. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks. We're here with Memphis, who's actually the winner of this. I'm hey! being told. He told me that we're actually that you yes. guys, you're the winner, right? Yes, I am. Uh, more you money. Winning everything you do, right? More money, more problems. Do y'all remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Hi, Bunny. How you doing? I'm good. Are yes. you having a good time out here? Yes, I am. I'm having a lovely time. You know, winning is always pretty fun. I don't know what these other teams are doing, but I'm winning. So if you want to <laughs> scout me for the Lakers, because I have a, I got a nice little driver shot that they might want to. Do you? Apply to my jump shot, if you can help me figure out. Yeah, that. and the Lakers need some help this year, so I'm going to talk to Mitch yes. and see if we can get yes. you on the team. I'm, I'm Maybe I'm a couple down. games here and there when you I'm have time in Mondays, between. Uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Between your between A and our work and producing, <laughs> well, we'll, we'll try. Yes, we'll try to yes, squeeze yes, it yes, in. Yes. Well, first of all, I just want to thank you for coming because thank you me. know to give your time. For a charitable cause you know a lot of people forget that you know it's important to give back yes and especially like you know the wounded soldiers and things like that i think it's a lot of times where we we as civilians we walk around every day and we have we don't even give it a second thought or understand how much you know uh these soldiers are protecting us right. from things that we play on of course like unforeseen <laughs> occurrences we don't know what's going on out right. there they, they take care of us they protect us and i think i think to protect them when they come back is, I mean, I think that's our job. I think that's our duty. Their duty is to protect us, and I think it's our duty to protect them. So having situations like this but where we can come and, and do charity and give back, I think that's I think that's beautiful. And I well said. I love that. I yeah. applaud you for that. Yeah. Now, you have always so much going on in the music world. Any little sneak peek of different things you got coming up that we um, can talk about? Um, Actually, like I, I kind of went away for a second just to kind of develop a few things. I have a new artist, uh, Key Swag 3000. He's 13 years old, just yeah. just signed to L.A. Reid at Epic. Oh um, I have a little 13-year-old female singer um, from Indianapolis. Her name is um, Maida, Maida Rose. She's 13. She plays the piano, so that's pretty cool. Um, so in the music world, that's what I'm doing, and that's, of course, always looking for new producers and always looking for new writers, especially since the success of T-Pain and Huey and Jaquan and K. Michelle, everything that I've basically touched or whatever, but this is new for me, the kid world, and uh, doing my TV shows now. I did a TV show called The Mistresses of Atlanta. Just a, You know, it got yeah. picked up by the Weinsteins. Right. Shout out to the Weinsteins. I love them. <laughs> uh, shout out to Vince Herbert, L.A. Reid um, on the music side. Um, that's that's my affiliate. It's my wife. It's actually my wife's birthday. Happy 30th birthday Aww, to my wife, Antonia. Birthday. She's actually here in Las Vegas. She doesn't know I'm here yet. Oh, is this a surprise? Yes. She, people keep trying to tell her, like, 
Karina tried to tell her I was here in town, but I'm not until tonight at STK. I'm gonna go surprise her with a gift. Romantic yeah, too. I try to, you know, I try to do fully well-rounded man. I yes. love it. Well, yes. thank you so much and for your time. I have a there's a new app that's coming out on iPhone only right now. Okay. But it's called My Real Life, and it's R E E L. I was gonna say that Yes. R -E -E -L. Like, my life is a movie. Y'all go check that out. There's some things I'm working with and a team I'm developing in that new app with. So we're going into the technology world as well. So go on your iPhone, go to the App Store, My Real Life, one word, R-E-E-L, and make your life a TV show. Because I'm pretty sure it is. Well, you really are a jack of all trades. We just think music and you're producing. And, and a master you know, of all. <laughs> and the winner of the golf tournament. I mean, like, come on. Woo! <laughs> Well, thank you this for your time. This is my way in the golf tournament dance. This is the touchdown dance. We'll call yeah. it that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank buddy. you. Love. Rashida, thank you so much for joining me. Now, tell me how exciting this is to be golfing for the first time with all these guys that are like, pros and the pressure's on. Oh my gosh, the pressure is so on. My team is great though. I have Lance, super producer, director. I have KD, former NFL player, Hall of Famer. Um, <laughs> he's a Hall of Famer to me. So, however, we are we're definitely making a great experience it's been it's fun it's great giving back um i think it's definitely supportive to the community and awareness that all celebrities come out and participate and give back like it's just a great thing that's my next question giving back how great is it that james mark has this celebrity tournament and it's giving back to the wounded warrior project i think james is, is a great addition to the charity um you know making sure that we all take place and be you know, well aware of what's going on with the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, it's a great project for all veterans. And, you know, I'm just happy to be here and be selected and be participating in this event. Celebrity like yourself, how important is it for to give back? I don't even consider myself a celebrity. I, I you know, I'm just accustomed to, you know, doing what's right and, you know, just being the best that we can, you know, what we can participate in, be the best that we can do. Good advice, I like that. Thanks, Rashida. <laughs> here with Flo from Oxygen's Bad Girls Club. First of all, you came a long way to come out here. Oh yeah, six hours on the plane, baby. But I'm here and I made it and I was late today because you're in Vegas, you're not sleeping. Right. Like, I haven't slept in two days and it's awesome. Now, you know, it's very important for people who have a platform, celebrities to give back to a charity. And James Mark has you guys all out here for the Wounded Warrior Project. How important is that to you? It's extremely important to me. What people don't realize is that I am one of the one of the bad girls who sticks true to charity work, and um, I'm gonna always continue to do that. I just came back from D.C. and did an anti-bullying event with children, and I continue to do good things. And I'm also doing like inspirational music and stuff for the youth and stuff because, you know, this uh, we we need to help each other. Everybody needs. I was saying that last night. Everybody needs to help each other. Don't go against each other. Let's all be equals and help each other. And when there's people with problems, if you can donate your time. I'm having fun and making and and making money to raise for an organization. Like, who's not gonna do that? You gotta be an idiot. You're a bad girl. You're not really a bad girl. You're a good actually, girl. Actually, <laughs> actually, I am a bad girl at heart. I have tattoos. Be bad and be good right here because I struggle with being bad and being good. But but, but I'm a bad girl gone good because I realized that bad girl lifestyle. You know, it's getting a little bit old and it's time to like do something right with your. When you do good, good comes back to you. So you know those late nights in the tellies no more though you know what I mean <laughs> now are you golfing or you just drive around the golf course I'm golfing and, I, and let, let me tell you something I just you know you already know I just did all-star battle and like I mean I'm a girl but I could keep up with the boys I love to I, any at any athletic thing that they call me to I'll always be a part of because I could do it pretty much everything I'll just try it once and I'm just I'm good. perfect you're having a great time yes I'm having an amazing time thank you so much for bringing me out here James Mark I appreciate it Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're here with Brett Jeffries. Now, you came in this morning. I saw you rushing oh, in. No, you, you're, now, your fly, in now, your fly was delayed, right? Delayed, canceled. We sat on the runway for, I don't even know, three hours maybe with mechanical issues. And that's the worst. You know, you never come to ready to play. Issues. Yeah. I changed in the car. I told the, the guys who were driving me, I'm like, just turn around. I'm going to change in the car. I'm sorry I'm being inappropriate right now. Oh my God, that's great. Yeah. So, are you having a good time out here? I am. I am. I have the best team ever. You know, they, they welcomed me right away. I'm like, all right, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to grab a couple of clubs and, and get right to it. So from executive, you know, Harpo Studios to the golf course. Yeah, I love yeah. it. I love it. I do. I, I grew up being an athlete, so I kind of 
get right to it. It's fun. Like the whole John Daly yeah. golf outfit. Yeah. I mean, I, I love it. I it's like great. It. Now, you know, besides it's just being having fun on the golf course, you guys are doing a good thing by giving back to the Wounded Warrior Project that, you know, James Mark brought you guys in for. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I'm all about. I love giving back. If I can ever help anyone, that's that makes me feel good. That's what I'm all about is just helping anyone in need. Uh, you know, that, that warms my heart. That's what it's all about. I don't ever need anything. I want to help others. Right. I was telling you know the other celebrities a lot of people tend to forget that it's you know with the platform you guys have it's always nice to be able to give your time or yeah. something right to help the community yeah no that's yeah that's what it's all about like I said you know I miss I missed the flight last night and then the flight was delayed this morning and canceled and everything but I'm like you know I'll come I won't even be here 24 hours but it's worth the sacrifice it's worth the headache of sitting on a runway for for hours with mechanical issues it's still all worth it to me I mean I could have given up when they when they canceled my flight last that's night I'm saying you didn't have to show up <laughs> no I right exactly I didn't have to show up I mean all the headache of canceling a flight last night and then putting me on a 5 a.m. flight this morning and I still didn't make it to midday and I joined in at the seventh hole, I think. I mean, it's still worth it to me. And came looking cute. I mean, do you see this? That's <laughs> right. Well, thank you so much, Brett. And, you know, I know you're doing, so, you're so busy back in the studios doing so much. So we appreciate you coming out. Well, thank you. Perfect. Of course, I wouldn't have missed it. Well, thank you for joining me, Rockstar Brand. You got so much going on, girl. Where do you, where do we begin? I know people say I'm like a Jamaican man. No, I'm joking. A <laughs> uh, lot going on. Uh, running my company, the Rockstar Brand. Still a writer, correspondent for Sister Sister Magazine. I'm a mom. I'm always the mom first. Um, just a lot going on. My foundation, Beyond the Game, which is actually based in Swaziland, Africa. So busy. Let's talk about the Rockstar brand. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, Rockstar brand is a marketing, branding, consulting company. We do a lot of event planning. Currently, some of our clients are Javon Sims, who's on the new Atlanta. I deal with Jazzy Faye, Leon Washington, other Patriots. We have a long Rockstar roster, but I'm doing pretty good right now. You got on the mind. You were saying Rockstar instead of Rockstar anyway, huh? I know, right? I'm like, everything with me is Rockstar. I tattooed it on right. me, so yeah. Now, first of all, you know, people are so excited to see how the support of this, you know, Wooden Warrior Project. So it was great for you to donate your time. Absolutely. I am a philanthropist at heart. I believe in giving back. Um, my oldest daughter, who's adopted, uh, she's in the United States Navy. So I'm a Navy mom. So being a military mom, being a military family now, I get it. So it's bigger than just coming to play golf. I really want to support. Something her. actually kind of personal to, oh. to your heart. Oh, absolutely. I didn't understand you know, Memorial Day and what that meant and, you know, 4th of July. We we're very patriotic now because of my daughter. <laughs> That's great. Well, first of all, I should say, second of all, you have so many different projects that are coming up. Let's talk about some of that stuff. I mean, you're on TV, you produce, you direct. I mean, let's talk all about it. Um, biggest project right now that I'm proud of, I'm shooting a short film called Born Day. So I'm going uh, with my foundation to Swaziland on November 6th. And we're going to build an orphanage in eight days. And all the kids there that don't have a birthday, I'm going to actually give them a birthday. Because in the village, a lot of the kids don't know what day they're born. So I'm actually going to Africa to give them my birthday. My birthday. And you're going to document all this? I'm going to document all of it. I'm taking some of my celebrity friends. I'm going to interview some celebrity friends here. So it'll be great. Yeah. Again, yeah, thank you so much for your doing. Not just what you're doing, you know, obviously with, you know, charity-wise. But you're, you're doing giving back in all different parts of your life, it seems like. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.